Welcome back to Bridgeview. Today we're in our third episode of our three-part series on permanent cables. And we have John Losner, the General Superintendent with Keywood Infrastructure West, joining us to tell us about the stressing process in a cable stay bridge. Hi, John. Hey, Dan. All right, so first off, tell me what stressing is. Okay, stressing is taking a, a loose strand, individual strand, and applying a load to it or a force. Okay load or weight as well it could be yeah. okay um, and why is it important why is it something that's so important to a, a cable stay bridge yeah without strand or stressing the strand in a cable stay bridge the uh, bridge deck would probably be in the water you that know, so would we, be a the, bad thing the strand holds <laughs> the bridge deck up okay so super super important. important so last episode we talked a little bit about the um, strand installation process so okay. going through the saddle the hdpe pipe etc okay. um, so tell us a little bit about what happens once the strand is fed into the anchor block underneath the bridge um, how is each individual strand stressed okay so like you just mentioned, the strand is fed through the anchor block here in front of us, through one of these individual holes, and a monostrand ram or jack, hydraulic jack, is used to stress an in individual strands one at a time. Um, so one jack is put onto the strand, and on the opposite end of the bridge, another jack is put on the exact same strand at the same time. And we have a computer that's usually sitting here next to us, where we, where we are right now. Um, and the computer is used to simultaneously stress the strands. So the computer tells you at what point it, it communicates is... with the other jack uh -huh. simultaneously. Okay. It monitors okay. the force and makes sure the force and the strands at this side and that side are equal. Great. Okay. Um, and so after a single cable is stressed, do you need to stress it again, or is that the only time that it needs to be stressed? Um, we stress them a few times during construction. We have our initial installation and stress, and then the morning after the strands are all installed and stressed, we uh, survey the bridge deck. To make sure the bridge deck is somewhere close to where we want it mm -hmm. and we restress them one time and then before the end of construction we will typically stress them again okay and is that it is that the last time that you would uh, ever need to during stress construction them? it is if okay. needed down the road 10 20 years if the bridge starts to sag a little bit uh, we can pull on them and stress them again wow okay and all of that is done under the bridge deck under the bridge deck. Right. So you would use something like a snooper truck to to access this area to do that. A snooper stressing truck, or uh, on the river we can come up off a barge. Or oh right. Okay. Like great. That. Excellent. And so after all the stressing is done, um, how is this uh, protected or capped off? Um, the strands will be cut somewhere in here, and we apply a galvanized cap, and then the cap gets injected with the wax, and the whole anchor head's injected with the wax. Okay. Excellent. Well, John, thanks so much for stopping sure. by today and sharing a little bit about the stressing process. That's all the time we have today on Bridgeview, so we'll see you next time.